This module should guide you through typical piping applications in a small commercial building, helping you to remember five of the most important configurations. Every piping system has six basic phases. Connection to the public net. Plant room. Backbone pipeline corridor. Rising pipe shafts. Floor distribution. Final consumption and radiators. Let's have a look at the connection to the public net. A consumption measuring device and valves are typically fixed on brackets, either single supported or braced. From here, we enter to the second phase. In the plant room, a splitter typically sits on a supporting goal post frame or similar configuration. Outgoing pipes from the splitter with valves, pumps and regulation devices are fixed on wall rails. Pipes in the plant room typically hang on single fastening points or are supported by various brackets. Pipes then exit the plant room into the third phase, the backbone pipeline corridor. Here, pipes are typically supported on a common pipe support, in this case, a trapeze frame. In the fourth phase, pipes go up through the building in a rising shaft. Here, the weight of the pipes is supported by fixed points. Common pipe supports in the shaft are usually wall rails. Where pipes enter the floor, we enter the fifth phase, called floor distribution. Pipes are supported on headrails or trapeze on rods. Pipes leading to the sixth phase are typically on single fastening points. The last phase of the piping system is final consumption and radiators. The pipes around are typically fixed on single fastening points or various clips using direct fastening solutions. So, these are the five basic configurations to remember for small commercial buildings. Single fastening points, head rails, trapeze on rods, trapeze frames, and brackets.